I've been using all of these five tools, Coolify, Doku, Dokploy, Portainer, and Cloud Panel, and this is a comparison so you can determine which one is best for you. Welcome to the video, everyone. We're diving into these awesome options for deploying and managing your applications. Whether you're a developer spinning up apps, wrangling containers, or running a server, I've got you covered with hands-on insights to help you choose. Here's the deal. I've tested each of these tools on real projects, from tiny VPS setups to multi-server experiments, and I'm breaking them down into two-minute chunks. We'll start with Coolify, then hit Doku, Dokploy, Portainer, and Cloud Panel, before wrapping up with an outro to tie it all together. These tools range from a platform-as-a-service setup like mini Heroku's to container managers and server control panels. Most are free and open source, which is a killer for trying them out yourself. I've also peeked at what folks are saying online to round out my take. For each tool... Expect the essentials, what it does, send out features, who it's for, and a quick pros and cons feel. No filler, just straight to the point, info you can use. So stick around, and by the end, you'll know which one fits your vibe. Maybe even find a new favorite. Let's get rolling with Coolify first. So first up, we have Coolify, an open source, self-hostable platform as a service. Think Heroku or Netlify, but you run it yourself. I've been using it to deploy everything from static sites to full backends and it's got a slick web-based interface that makes it super approachable. You can set it up on any server with SSH access, VPS, Raspberry Pi, whatever, and it supports tons of languages and frameworks. What I love about Coolify is how it simplifies deployment. You connect it to Git, GitHub, GitLab, even self-hosted options, and push your code. It builds and deploys automatically with a real-time terminal in the browser to run commands or troubleshoot. There's team collaboration built in so you can share projects with coworkers and it handles backups to S3 compatible storage. This saved me when I accidentally borked the database once. Plus it's got an API for CI slash CD integration. Super handy for automation. On the flip side, it needs decent hardware. Think two cores of CPU, two gigabytes of RAM and 30 gigabytes of storage. And idle usage sits around 9% CPU and 41% RAM. Not lightweight, but worth it for the features. The UI is intuitive with integrated SSL by default, which is a time saver. Compared to others we'll cover, it's more polished for multi-server setups and team use. Coolify is perfect if you want a flexible, Heroku-like experience without the hosted price tag, especially if you're into web UIs and team workflows. So let's talk about Doku, a Docker-powered product as a service. This one's like a mini Heroku for single servers, I've been running it on a cheap VPS and it's all about simplicity through the command line. If you're comfy with terminals, this one's a gem. You deploy by pushing to a Git repo and it uses Heroku build packs to build and run your apps in a container. Doku's strengths are its ease and extensibility. It's got plugins for features like adding databases or custom configs and it's been around forever. Super stable. I set up a Node.js app with automatic SSL via Let's Encrypt in like 10 minutes. It also supports basic auth for quick site protection and scales with simple CLI commands. No web UI though, that's the trade-off. Everything's terminal based, which I kind of dig, but it's not for everyone. Resource wise, it's light, runs fine on one gigabyte of memory, but it's single host only. No multi-server magic here. Compared to Coolify, it's less flashy, but more straightforward for small projects. I found it ideal for solo devs or tiny teams who don't need a GUI and want something free and self-hosted. Doku shines if you're a CLI fan looking for a no-frills PAAS on a budget. Let's move on to Dokpoi, another open source PAAS with a web UI aimed at making Docker deployments a breeze. I've tested it for multi-server setups and it's a solid alternative to Heroku or Versal. It's built around Docker and Docker Compose with traffic for routing and load balancing perfect for scaling across nodes with Docker Swarm. What stands out is its simplicity. You get Git integration, one-click templates for stuff like plausible analytics, and a dashboard to manage apps and databases. I've deployed a Python API with automatic backups to S3 in no time, and the web interface feels snappy. It's not as feature-packed as Coolify. SSL isn't default, for example, but it's fast, with idle usage at 9% and 44% RAM, similar to Coolify's footprint. Minimum specs are two core CPUs, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and a 30 gigabyte storage. The multi-node support is a game changer if you're clustering servers, and Docker Compose compatibility makes complex apps easier. Downsides? The UI is less polished than Coolify's, and some features feel basic. Still, it's free, open source, and great for Docker fans who want a graphical edge. Doc place your pick if you're into Docker, need multiple server options, and prefer a web UI over CLI. Portainer's up now. 
And it's a bit different. It's all about container management, not app deployment from scratch. I've been using it to handle Docker and Kubernetes setups, and its web-based UI is a lifesaver for CLI overload. Think of it as a control panel for your containers, not a PaaS like the others. Key features? You can create, monitor, and tweak containers, images, volumes, and networks all through a clean interface. I managed a Docker Swarm cluster with it, and the real-time terminal per container is clutch for debugging. I got a free community edition and a paid business version with extras like role-based access. No Git integration, though. It's not about building apps, just running them. Portainer's light on resources. Depends on your Docker setup, but it's not a deployment tool like Coolify or Doku. It's more for teams or anyone who wants a visual way to manage containers across platforms. I found it super intuitive, especially compared to a raw Docker commands. If you're heavy into containers and want a graphical tool to tame the chaos, Portainer's your guy. Last up, let's go ahead and discuss Cloud Panel. Finally, Cloud Panel, a free open source server control panel. Perfect for web hosting, especially PHP stuff. I've run it on DigitalOcean for WordPress sites, and it's a lightweight beast with a web UI. It's built on NGNIX, PHP, FPM, and MySQL, ready in 60 seconds after install. What's cool? You get site management, settings, databases, SSL via Let's Encrypt, and cron jobs, plus security like IP blocking and Cloudflare integration. It handles static sites, Node.js, and Python too, but PHP is its sweet spot. The catch? There's no built-in Git for auto-deployment, so you'll need extra tools for that, which kind of surprised me. Still, it's simple and fast with no heavy resource demands beyond your server's basics. Compared to the others, it's less about app deployment and more about server control. I love how it's streamlined hosting multiple sites, but if you need Git automation, look anywhere else. It's free, open source, and great for web-focused users. Cloud Panel is ideal if you're hosting sites, especially PHP, and want a clean, no-host control panel. Let's wrap this up. All right, guys, that's the rundown. Coolify, Doku, Dopeploy, Portainer, and Cloud Panel. Let's recap. Coolify is your go-to for a flexible web-based PaaS with team features. Think Heroku vibes. Doku, on the other hand, is the CLI king for single host simplicity. Perfect for solo devs on a budget. Then we have Dokeploy. Dokeploy brings Docker power with a multi-server support and a UI great for scaling. Next up is Portainer. Portainer is the container master, giving you a graphical grip on Docker or Kubernetes. And then we have good old Cloud Panel. Cloud Panel is the hosting hero, especially for PHP, though it skips Git automation. Now you might be wondering, which one's best for you? Well, it truly depends on who you are and what you're looking for. Need app deployment with a web UI? Coolify or Dokeploy could be great options. CLI and single server? The only option is Doku. Container management? You, my friend, are looking for Portainer. Looking for web hosting, you say? Then Cloud Panel is your choice. Most of these are free to try, so spin up a VPS and test them all. You can find all of their websites on Google and check them out. My favorite? Coolify for its polish, but Doku for simplicity won me over for small stuff. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope it helped you pick the right tool. Don't forget to drop a comment with your thoughts, experiences, or questions. And definitely like and subscribe if you found this useful. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Happy deploying. See ya.